Hey guys, here I am on the PTR again. I uh, heard about a couple of changes in terms of pet stuff, so I thought I'd log on and have a look. First things first, um, I heard that monks would be getting their own class pet, and it sounded pretty cool from what I read. But let me open my journal and show you. So here we go. Banfu, which is supposed to be the companion version of, I'm guessing, your monk mount, which is just a big version of this little guy. You can see he kind of has some monk-like abilities, which sound pretty cool. And as you can see, it's from the Order Hall Wandering Isle. So I'm not sure what level you'll need to be, if it's going to be like the uh, druid who needs to be 105 or whether it's going to be like the shaman you can pretty much get straight away after opening your order hall. Um, the DK pet has actually had a bit of a reskin. If you saw my pet battle dungeon video he was looking quite different to this but right now he matches more of the his other two counterparts, which are the Unholy and the Frost. And Crackers, of course, I showed you the other day, is the Rogue pet. So it really looks like we'll be, you know, before the end of Legion, every class is going to have their own pet, which is pretty cool. Well, Cool for people who like leveling alts. I don't particularly like leveling alts, um, even though I have five max level tunes right now. Half of those were for the pets, and um, the other half was pretty much because they're like my um, gathering tunes, and I was leveling it up for professions. Uh, in particular, my mage, because she's my tailor as well, which helps me out as a priest. And the Demon Hunter, that of course was for the pet predominantly, which is kind of sad, I guess. But it was kind of fun to try it out, and she is actually my miner as well, so that's helped me out with my jewel crafting and engineering. Um, now, in terms of other additions, we had the three from the Pet Battle Dungeon. It doesn't look like they've really changed. But that's okay. There was also Scraps, which when I last looked at him, there wasn't any text associated with him, so there was no source code or anything. But now we see he's actually a drop from the Curious Worm Tongue Cache, which I guess is from Questing on the Broken Shore, the new quest line that's just been added to the PTR. Uh, I haven't actually done any of the quests, but as I logged in, there was a breadcrumb quest for here. Armies of Legion Fall. So I guess Khadgar will give his little spiel of why we need to come back and fight stuff. And uh, last but not least, this is a new pet tamer, but nothing happens when you talk to her right now. There was another one that was located elsewhere on the Broken Shore, and I'll take you there now. Now I was on my way to pick up the other flight point in the area when I noticed this stampede of Felsteeds. Now I don't know what that's about, but I just thought it looked pretty cool. It reminds me of the Mana Snowy River. And one other thing. I don't know what this is about either, but kinda reminds me of the barrel you find outside the grotto in High Mountain. What is this? Anyway, probably quest related. And another pet tamer has been located 
right here. Now, he's pretty much directly above Drakthal, which is the guy who starts the attunement for Cosmoth. And he's right here, Nameless Mystic. Nothing really happens when you talk to him right now, but I'm kind of intrigued by what kind of pets he'll have. And also, this chick here. Maybe he'll have some sort of archaeology quest or something? Who knows? Okay. Well, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like if you did, subscribe, and if you'd like to support me on Patreon, there'll be a link for that as well. Thanks for watching, guys.